from all around you long. I'm going to tell you how football... Good morning and welcome back to the GDFL Netball Show. Going to have a look at the last of home and away season, girl. And firstly, we'll have a quick look at the ladder and see where everyone's sitting. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> Nothing's changed from last week. We've got Werribee Central sitting out in front undefeated, followed by Bell Post Hill, East Geelong, Fannick Burn and Inverlee. Um, I don't think anything's changed. I don't think anything will change just quietly, Fee, yeah. this week. I think everything will stay the same. And um, I honestly think that... Um, no one in the ladder will change. Werribee will finish on top. They'll post you. I don't know. After today's game, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? But um, as we look at that ladder, we'll look at Geelong West. Um, oh. No wins for this season, no. Fiona. No. Very disappointing. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't play though, Johnny. You didn't play. No. Look, I think that you need to come back to A grade. <laughs> I think that you will star. <laughs> and let me see that. And W. -E what, what does W S stand for? What does W S stand for? I think WS stands for dun, 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 the wooden spoon. Here it is. Here it is, everyone. Oh, Jackson. Wooden spoon. Congratulations, Geelong West. Well they done, come Fiona. Off, they they come off your wall at you. home, Donna. No, that's what I used to smack my kids with. Right. <laughs> no, it isn't all right. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and present this to the yes, girls and, yes. and um, see how they take it. Early. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah. All I can say is I'm glad Anakin can pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah, world's greatest stirrer. I think that's appropriate for you. Yeah, you might have to it back. <laughs> 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 Nothing, darling. Sure. Sorry, I'll, I'll bring it down to the final series. And see okay. <laughs> no one bend over. <laughs> I'll say. And we're going to have a look at our tally from last week after my rock, paper, scissors with Amanda. I know that I've yep. dropped down a yep. little bit. Um, oh, but firstly, we've got Amanda out in front of 75. I'm behind Ooh, on 70. Donna, 69. 69. What a number, Amanda. Mm. Yeah, that's where you were last week. That's one less than 70. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yep. So, and I'm only one behind you. Have we figured out what we're actually playing? I'm one behind for. you. Look, yeah. look, I'm one behind you. That's all right. I, can yeah. do I do that. need some clarification. Um, oh, is this the go. last round of tipping? Or are we going through? The Hang finals? on. Are you just about to say because oh, you can't lose? Oh, Coxie's brought in the rules. But yes, it is. It is. Right. Okay. Final round. Yeah. So now you can you can go crazy. I oh, know. Look at her sitting there. Look at her. Look at, her. Oh, no, look at, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a look at this week's games. First of, we, first of all, we've got Winchelsea versus Thompson at Winch. Good game, this one, Jackson, isn't it? Oh, we've got Jackson. We have got Jackson. Sorry. Our little boy, is it? We've had it's kids, kids Day today, wasn't it? It Hazel's was Kids Day. Hazel was here, and now Jackson is. So, Winchelsea and Thompson, and it's at Winchelsea. Who are we going to go for, darling? Well, I chose Thompson. No, yes. <laughs> well done. So that's Thompson. Oh, yes, Jack. You know said. what? I forgot to use reverse psychology. <laughs> what is that? I should have said Thompson. Okay, well, we're going Thompson. The, he's been watching the show all year, Donna, and he knows you we're, don't get them right. Actually, we don't watch it at home. We're oh, gone. Okay, right. Um, okay, we're going Thompson. Yeah. Please, right. Mal Philpott, please. So we'll last time Winchelsea and Thompson met, Winch was 42 and Thompson 38. <gasps> also, and it was a close game. It was a close game, and I'm going to pick Thompson. Oh! I'm going to go with Winchelsea. Only because you want to get one up on me. <laughs> Going to do something to try and stay No, I'm picking the next one. <laughs> the next game, um, Jackson. So we've got Werribee versus Karaya, mate. Do you want me to tell you what the score was last time they met? So Werribee were 51 and Karaya were 18. So who are you going to go for? Well, Werribee Centrals have gone very good today. Yeah. That means last week. That's last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to choose Werribee Centrals because they're very good. Oh, well done. Good. Thanks, Jackson. Well so, done, darling. Yeah. Good job. Amanda? Werribee. Yeah, Werribee for me as many. well. Um, they're going to stay undefeated for the year. I think so. That's, that's <gasps> oh, be. close game. The next one. game and probably the game of the round. Yeah, and absolutely. I think they're going to be. They will be playing two weeks in a row. Um, they will. So it'll be interesting to to watch it this week. Um, we've got Bell Post Hill versus East Geelong up at Hill. This is second place, third fee, and um, we'll just take note that um, if East win today, they will move to second position on the ladder. 
So, Amanda, who are you picking? Oh, no, that's an easy get. That's a bell post tool for you. Oh, are you've got a little bit to say about this oh, one. No. Oh, no. Oh, you could have It's not like you have anything to say. Really Amanda, <laughs> I am going to pick bell post hill. Yeah. Um, last time they met the score was 47 to 42. Yep. So there's only five goals in it. Uh, Sonia Harris didn't play. Yep. So she's an extra factor to consider. Kate Ship has played the majority of the game in defence and then went into goals. And I'm suspecting, I think, after looking at last weekend's results, that Kate will shoot and Mel will play defence. Yep. But saying that, Mel had a great game against Bell Post Hill last time and shot 22 goals. Yep. And Elkana played a full game last week, so she's right. back. Yep, Elkana played last time yep. we played East, so yep. everyone's looking good for Bell Post Hill. And I think the outcome of this is going to be so important coming into that first week of finals. So whoever wins is going to have a psychological yep. edge over the other side. Yep. All right, Jacko, who are we going for? East or Bell Post Hill? I choose East because they've been very good. Oh, okay, we choose East. We're choosing East. I... See? Now. Oh, hard one, but I'm going to go with East Geelong as well. Um, I think the inclusion of Sonia is going to bring them strength in the mid-court, and I think that they might so I'll make up that point there. Could do, yeah. could do. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm going with it, so I'll stay in front of you. <laughs> All good. Yeah, yeah, Jack, did I tell you? Yeah. Bannock, Bannock Burn versus Anarchy. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, Anarchy. Oh. No, don't stick put it down. What are you doing? Do you do 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 Got to stick with your own club, don't you, you Jack? Do, you do. Yeah. So well done, Donna, with Anarchy. Okay, well, I'll Manca. take that wooden spoon back and help me. <laughs> Bannock Burn. I'm going to go for Bannock Burn as See? well. Look, they both chose the um, hell, Jack. Yeah, they'll, they'll take that win. The, last, uh, the next one, Geelong West versus North Geelong. Uh, don't, don't. <laughs> hey, have we awarded the wooden spoon like one week too early? Yeah. No. Oh. No, this is not no, tipping no. wooden spoon. This is, yeah, this we, is we ladder wooden we spoon. We can't go, even yeah. if we win. No, no, we, we're oh, too okay, games that's all right then. Um, North Geelong, go North Geelong, good game last week. They toppled Cry by a few goals and I'm tipping North Geelong. Jackson yeah. can just lay off this one. I'm going North I Geelong as well. I oh, know, we're not tipping you. And last time they met North Geelong 54, Geelong West 28, North Geelong yeah. too strong. So we're all going there. And the last one, Belmont versus Inverley. Um, at Belmont, Cox is cheering away here. Cox thinks he might Belmont be able to do it. I'm... Oh, so you're going to go with just the goodest team. The goodest mm -hmm. team. There's no such yeah. word as goodest. Who do you reckon that might be? In Inbley. Good man. Look, I'm going to go in Inbley as well, coming into the, the last game before the finals and then making it for this year. So. And I'm going to make Cogsy's day and pick Belmont Lions. Ah, good job. Anyway, Yay. with that, I'm getting wrapped up very quickly here. So thank you. So and goodbye, goodbye. Thank you, Jackson, for joining us. So and no everybody, good goodbye, luck in goodbye. all your games in, in the last, last game for the, for the home and away season. Um, good luck to everyone out there today on their last game, girls. Have fun absolutely. with it. And it's Enjoy. over to Dick and the boys in the footy show. Geelong and district football league. Radio. Radio.